Hello Internet, Big Dave here, and I would like to welcome you to the Weekend Roundup for the week ending on Saturday, September 20th. If you watched my Humble Indie Bundle series, and I know that you did, you will recognize the game in the background as And Yet It Moves. I've been having a lot of fun with this game, and I thought I'd show you some more gameplay. Originally, I had intended to show you more Doc Clock and the Toasted Sandwich of Time, but there was an update released, and it no longer works on my system. Awesome. Anyway guys, let's get right into this. Let's look at the games that we talked about and made videos about this week. Let's talk about the videos. How were they? And let's review our ratings. Our week started off with a look back at the free-to-play weekend for Brink. Now that was a couple of weeks ago and this video was lagging behind a little bit. I completed about half of it before getting waist-deep in the first-person shooter free-to-play week last week and just never got a chance to put the finishing touches on it, but now it is up. You've seen it, hopefully. And let's talk a little bit about it. The game itself, Brink. Man. Um... Yeah, it was... It was not what I hoped it would be. Let me just put it that way. Um, it's difficult to verbalize the, the, the disappointment. Um, the game itself was fine. It was passable, but it looked so much better than it ended up being. Uh, and I think that's the case a lot of times. There's a, there's a saying, uh, the proof of the pudding is in the eating. And indeed, the eating was not so great. Overall, I didn't despise the game. I enjoyed it. It just wasn't what I hoped it would be. It wasn't what I thought it would be from watching the trailers. And, uh, yeah, overall disappointing. I hope you enjoyed the video. We had some gameplay and some talk about the features. But in the end, I didn't give Brink a rating because it was a free-to-play weekend of a full-price game. And at that point, I mean, we're not even flirting with Big Davis cheap territory for a $50 game. So after the disappointment of Brink, we moved right back into Big Dave is Cheap territory as we played the $5 game Dot Clock, the Toasted Sandwich of Time. Now Dot Clock was a blast. I had never really played it before other than maybe two or three minutes just to learn the controls. When I approach a game on Big Dave is Cheap that I've never ever played before, I try to play it and present to you a video which is giving you my real and true first impression of the game. And I hope that you got that from Dot Clock. You were getting, in that video, my real reactions, my initial reactions to how this game made me feel, how it entertained me, what it had to offer. And uh, that's what I'm really trying to convey. When I play a game that I've never played, I want you to see me essentially playing it for the first time. And that was what the Dot Clock video was, and I hope that you enjoyed it quite a bit. We rated Dot Clock 5 bucks out of 5. Now the game is only $5 anyway, but if this game was $10, I'd pay $10 for it. It was that much fun. After playing it a little bit on my own without the cameras rolling, so to speak, I got to the sections where you start to make vehicles, contraptions, if you will, and it was a lot of fun. It really has a good entertaining factor to it, entertainment factor to it, um, though some people say that falls off as you play through the game. That's yet to be seen from me, but I'm not going to dispute that it could happen because many, many games lose their luster after several play sessions. And finally, we ended our week with one of the bonus games from the Humble Indie Bundle number 3, Steel Storm Burning Retribution. You had seen me play this game in the background of a previous weekend roundup, but I felt it was only fitting that I give it a full video. Overall, I enjoyed this game. It was dragging a little bit. I was going to give the game a 4 out of 5. It was, it was good, but not great. And then I got the missiles. Oh, man. That took the game to a whole new level. And I think that's an interesting thing that you don't always see in a lot of modern games. Progression actually made the game more fun. The more I played it, the more fun I had. A lot of games blow their load, if I may be so inelegant right in the first 10 or 15 minutes of gameplay, and then that's it. They're done. Steel Storm Retrib Burning Retribution actually got better the more I played it, and that was fantastic, and, and that's what you hope for out of a game. And uh, indie games especially tend to deliver with that. Dot Clock certainly did, and Steel Storm certainly did. Unfortunately, our first game, Brink, not so much. So, you know, a $50 game that didn't deliver versus two $5 games that did. Again, we rated Steel Storm five bucks out of five after discovering those fantastic missiles. 
I would bring your attention to the fact that Steel Storm is on sale right now for $2.50 through the end of the weekend on Gamersgate. If you've never used that site before, Gamersgate is a great resource for purchasing games. They have good discounts, weekly and daily deals. Fantastic. Check it out. Steel Storm Burning Retribution, $2.50 right now on Gamersgate. Alright guys, that just about does it for us, but before we go, a couple of quick things. First, some gaming deals that I've been tracking for a day or so. If you head to Gamers Gate for that great Steel Storm Burning Retribution deal, you'll also notice that they're in the midst of their summer sale. I believe it's week number three, if I'm not mistaken. And they have a lot of great, great games on sale, up to 90% off in some cases, though it's really more like... 25 to 50 percent, but uh, you'll find a game or two that is deeply, deeply discounted. Lots of games under five dollars, lots of great, fantastic games. I would recommend that you check out that sale, see if you like what you see. The other thing that caught my eye for this weekend is the Warhammer 40k sale that is going on on Steam. Now, really, this is mainly the Dawn of War games, number one, number two, as well as all the DLC for Dawn of War 2. Lots of DLC for that game. Check it out if you're a Warhammer 40k fan. Check it out if you're an RTS fan. Check it out if you're just curious. Hey, what is it going to hurt? Take a look at Steam. You always got your daily deals on Steam, but you always have a great weekend deal too. So always keep your eyes there if you're trying to game on the cheap, like you know that I am. And finally, as you hopefully saw in the bulletin that I posted and the message that I posted on the comments page on the channel, next week will be a little bit of a light week here on Big Dave is Cheap. I normally try to put out a video on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. That's three videos a week. Next week, that will not be the case. I will do one perhaps two videos, but I'd like to involve you guys, the, the loyal few, the, the tens of you that actually watch the videos and subscribe to the channel. Um, have we broke 20 yet? I think subscribers, I, I don't know, we're almost there. It's a milestone, guys. We'll do a big celebration when we do. Anyways, um, take a look at my Steam profile. Add me on Steam. It's Big Dave is Cheap. And take a look at the games that I have. If you see a game on my profile that you would like to see a video about, tell me. Either post on my profile on Steam, post a reply to this video, or post something on the channel page letting me know what game in my library you would like to see a video for. Alright guys, I think that's going to do it for this week. Until next time, as always, take it easy.